We are up at the cabin this weekend trying to get a few small things done. There's some of the lumber. And Paul's installing this, what he calls a drink railing because it hangs over a little bit. And he's also tightening down some of the boards. Some of these are letting loose. Um, when the builder built this, it was with the intention of it being pretty much, I think, a hunting cabin. And so he didn't care if things were off a little bit or askew or not just right. So um, Paul's putting some more nails or something in there. And over there, you can see where Paul just started um, setting up for where the pole barn's going to be. Plans on doing a bit more work tomorrow. So maybe we'll see what gets done. The air compressor just kicked in. Okay, it is my job now to get meat wagon out here in front. Um, there isn't much out here that we're ever going to mow. So mostly what we're going to end up doing is just weed wagon some of this taller stuff. Keep it down. There's little bits of grass here and there. Out here in front, what you're seeing right now, um, I don't know who planted all this. Maybe the builder did. I never asked them. But there's nice plants out here. Um, I'm sure you can see the pastas and there's irises and I think there's um, daylilies. And so I got to kind of go around them. But I gotta get some of these weeds down, some of just this grass. Um, clean it up a little bit, you know what I mean? So um, I'm gonna get that done and then I'm gonna check and see how far Paul has gotten with the uh, pole bar. All right, so what we did this weekend is we did dug our, uh, we put our poles in for our pole barn. I made holes four feet down, used uh, four by six timbers um, for all the load bearing. Um, we did the pole barn 16 feet by 24 feet because everything comes in four feet, so we will have no waste when it comes to the metal roof. And our siding, we'll be siding it with uh, uh, T111, and we'll be putting the steel roof on top of it. Trusses. Uh, trusses will be pole barn trusses, so it will be every eight foot, so it will just be two trusses and two gable trusses. Um, but we got the poles all set in and four feet and all concreted in. Um, everything is square and plumb and straight. Uh, so we're all ready to, uh, for our next mission next week, which is going to be stripping all the walls with two by fours. Uh, every two feet on center, uh, going up uh, horizontal with them. Are you getting that tree trunk out of here? Yeah, the tree trunk will come out of here. And it angles like the house does, so that's not going to be a problem at all? or No, because we're going to put a tree to 2x12 on this side and a 2x4 at the bottom there. And then we'll get the bobcat in here and we'll just skirt some of this dirt over uh, over to the side to flatten it out. And then we'll be going to be putting number 9 uh, pea gravel in before we concrete it. Oh, alrighty. And then I got a 6 foot opening here for our double door, double 3 foot door. That'll be the entrance into it. We'll have a couple of windows in there. And then, of course, we're going to have a solar panel for the uh, for the, uh, the power in there for our electric, for our uh, lighting um, at nighttime. And then a generator we'll have for uh, power if we're going to run any power tools and such. All right, cool. Well, thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like the video. And subscribe, too. That would be really great. Make sure to hit the little um, bell button when you um, subscribe so that you'll get all of your notifications for updates. Thanks for watching. It was nice talking to you and you take care.